already talked about what we're here for, but what can you do? What can you do? And this goes back to our thing. Recruit, retain, register, and transport. So let's talk about that recruitment. If you're interested in anything that you can do, because there's always a way that each of you can contribute in some way or form. Can you, in terms of volunteerism, would you like to volunteer when it comes to voting time? Would you like to be a poll worker? Uh, would you like to volunteer to transport some individuals? Which that goes back to that. Uh, are you interested in, uh, are, is there a work that you can do? Can you do digital, uh, do you have digital skills that can help with advertisement? Those are the pieces, because ultimately it's going to take all of us, not just some of us, it's going to take each of us. But we go back and we fast track and uh, rewind to last year, 2018. There was a lot of volunteerism needed. There were lots of people doing lots of different things. Some of you might have been phone banking, some of you might have been uh, out doing door to door, knocking on doors uh, to encourage people to vote or to tell them about voting. But you were doing something. Or you might have been supporting the work of or, or creating life. Everybody can do something. And if you want to know what you can do before you leave here today, stop at the desk at the table and say, hey, I have a skill that can be used. Because as I said, it's going to take all of us. Because I know we're all not all here because we just we, you know, we just came to do nothing. We came because it's time to really get fired up. This is the dressing up room. I know y'all heard that song in the church, maybe, but we're dressing up. This is the dress rehearsal right now. So whatever we're gonna do now, if you wanna, if we wanna see a different 2020, it starts now. November is a rehearsal. November is a rehearsal, but 2020 is the big one. So I want us to start wake up, waking up, get up, and vote up, okay? All right, we'll have Glenn talk to you. I also wanted to uh, bring up ways that uh, you can participate also as a candidate. Uh, as you know, we're going to have local candidates that are going to be uh, in the subcommittee election in November. Uh, we have elections going on for the city uh, about Austin Mayor, Council Districts 1, 3, and 5 at large. Also, there's going to be a school board for about Austin City Schools, District 1, 2, and 3. City of Hay Harrow, Hay Harrow uh, City Council District 2 and 3, City of Riverton, the uh, Mayor, City Council, uh, two City Council seats, and the City of uh, Nashville, the Mayor, as well as City Council votes 3 and 4. Uh, qualifying is going to be from August 19th until the 23rd. And uh, if you have any interest in running for an election, either one of those seats or uh, possibly something. Uh, once again, my name is Glenn Rich, and I'm the chair of Qualified for the Rounds County Democratic Party. So please contact me. I can give out my cell phone number, which is 229-460-0770. Thank you very much. So Glenn just talked to you about whether you might be wanting to run, because we need to always be looking at individuals who are ready to run, willing to run, if you need to be prepared to run, if you're thinking about it now, three years from now, go ahead and talk to us so we can start getting you ready, because we need a, a regular pool of candidates. So I want to talk to you about, um, what is it? Retain. Retain. How do you retain people's mind and keep them, keep their thoughts on uh, the election, regardless of, of what, what there's an election? When November comes, people should just be like, oh, who's running? I need to vote. Where? How? When? Okay, but people aren't in that mindset. So in your home, in your community, in your school, in your workplace, at your church, you need to be talking about voting, about the importance of voting. Uh, education, because I'm going to tell you that education is the main, is the key to us being prepared and ready at all times. And well, I'm going to I'm going to give you this one quote: Democracy cannot succeed unless those who express their voice are prepared to choose wisely. The real safeguard of democracy, therefore, is education. So sometimes it's just us not voting, but it's uh, us knowing what we're voting for and who we are voting for, lest we be bamboozled, fooled, or lied to. So you need to do your research and start educating in your home. The next one is to register. Voter registration. You can register 
register today, you can register online. You can, there's an app that you can put on your phone uh, with the Georgia Secretary of State. There's an app, you can register people anywhere, at the movie, at the park, at the beach, it doesn't matter. So make sure that everybody in your household, talk to people at your, at your church about being registered. Because it's important. It's, it's important now. Not in November, not in October, but now. And I think the last day to get registered. The last day to register is October 7th. October 7th. Okay? So know that. But we should go ahead and do it now. Also, because I'm going to tell you, the next one is transport. So once we've been, people have been registered to vote, you retain them because you've been in constant conversation with them. And then you've got to register. Okay, so now that they're registered, they're ready to go. Now we've got to make sure they get to the poll. I'm going to tell you, there are people who are not getting to the poll in the past election. There were many people who still did not vote in Lyons County. We have to do better. We can do better. This is going to take all of us. So we're going to have to all take the role of transporting somebody to those polls. Not forgetting about that neighbor, that cousin, that relative, that coworker, whoever. Making sure they get, hey, come vote with me. Make it, make it a dinner event, something. But get the people to the polls. Because our work is not just done when we get them registered. They need a little extra help. Okay? So if in the last day to, uh, in the first day of early voting, I want y'all to remember this now. So this day, this is my birthday, October 14th. October 14th is the last, is the first day of early voting. It is also my birthday. So what's the first day of early voting votes? That's right, October 14th. So you can go ahead and vote early, people. Also, if you want to ask the ballot, make sure you go to this table. There's no over vote registration. Will Lamb is over there. Go see him. If you have an elderly family member, or you might be able to go over there. You can go ahead and get your absentee ballots where they come to you every voting, uh, every time there is an election, okay? You can get that done today. So don't be late. All right, so moving on. So we got the charge to prove, retain, register, and transport. So now, um, all right, so what we're going to do for dinner, 